Ladies and gentlemen, solar eclipse 2024, October 2nd in the sign of Virgo. But Asta Nakshatra, which shows hands. What is Asta? Asta is getting to work with your hands. So get ready to work. <laughs> All right. So before we go into every ascendant, we should know what Asta is. So Asta Nakshatra represents getting into the that last bit of work that's remaining so i don't know which ascendant you are but it doesn't matter because i know there is something lurking in some area in some part of your life something is not getting complete it's there in my life i don't know about you i'm sure it is so wherever this eclipse is happening Depending on your ascendant, your lagna, rising sign, not moon sign, not chandrarashi, lagna, ascendant, right? So depending on that, wherever the sign Virgo falls, these uh, that area of your life, there is something which you have not completed. And that is something which you need to complete. Okay, it is very, very, very interesting and you better do it. <laughs> All right, so if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this content. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. So now, let's begin with Aries. So for Aries, this transit is happening in your sixth house, right? Oof, sixth house. <laughs> what is sixth house? Sixth house is... What Hasta is, right? It's work, basically. So, you will have to work. So, this solar eclipse will activate your sixth house. It will, uh, it could bring in some matters related to your health, your daily routines or your enemies, hidden enemies, okay? Not those who you want to punch, uh, but some enemies who are there, who you even may not know, okay? So, this is an ideal time for healing. So if you want to heal yourself, your body, your mind, and you want to conquer obstacles, especially in your profession, and create new routines, okay? So there is something in your life which you are not completing. What is it? Identify. It has to do with your either, either your career or health or your routines, your daily routines, okay? Now, Hasta Nakshatra's energy may help you here to get the things uh, to, to come to take things to completion and you may manifest better work habits okay so if you work hard your habits will improve and you can start a new uh, health uh, yeah you can start a new health uh, you, you can go and uh, get a report about your health you know from the doctor and some new diet schedule or you know yeah, about health in general it does not have to be just diet okay so but what is important is that you avoid confrontations in your workplace. That's very important because otherwise uh, you may run into problems, okay? So, and also because this eclipse is in your sixth house, so you might get a new job or you know some similar job opportunity could also come or promotions could also be there. But in general, this is a time to complete things before you go to new beginnings in your job, all right? Take care, Aries. Now, Taurus, this eclipse is in your... Pancham, fifth house, right? This is very interesting. Uh, fifth house is the house of creativity, love, romance, children. And uh, this eclipse will open to doors for new creativity. But at the same time, you may feel there's already so much in my plate. I have not yet completed them. But now is the time that you should complete them. Okay, so for example, if you are already into a project uh, where you are doing something creative, you may get a new project also, but it is highly recommended that you complete that project and go to the next. So this can give you new ventures and uh, it can improve your relationship with your children. Or if you are married and you want to have children, then this is a very good time to have children also. Now, this is this transit, this eclipse can also give you association of a guru. Because fifth house is Guru Diksha, so you might meet a Guru who can initiate you. Okay, this is also possible. Or it can also happen that in your life uh, you are reaching, uh, you are kind of culminating some subject that you are already studying. 
So fourth house is education and fifth house is the culmination of all education. So it's like the summary of everything. And sixth house is the next house, which is a practical application of, you know, any subject matter, right? So now, because it is the fifth house, so you, you have to finalize what you are reading and what you are studying, okay? So it's a great time to um, bring out artistic talents, you know, uh, problem-solving skills and to start working on a project more passionately, but provided you complete the projects before, okay? Previous projects, all right? Take care, Taurus. Now we go to Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? This is in your fourth house, Chaturth Bhava, right? So fourth house, as you know, relates to home, family, inner peace. So this eclipse uh, could bring uh, you a new home house purchase. It's possible or a new vehicle purchase. That is also possible. Or there could be, you know, changes in general in your uh, domestic environment. Or you might leave the homeland or you might return back to your homeland because the fourth house is the homeland, right? Whenever there's an eclipse, either you leave or you come back. So now, there could also be some repairs which you might do in your home. This is very probable because of Hasta Nakshatra. So some painting or you know some water pipe leakage, something like that could happen. Okay. So you might need to do renovations or you might need to make your home more beautiful. This is something which could be possible. Okay. Or you might uh, meet somebody from your homeland, you know, in a new country or from your childhood, you know, fourth house shows, you know, the initial memories of your life. So it could happen that <clears throat> you are rekindling the emotional love that you had with somebody, not in a romantic sense only, it could be anybody, you know, some uncle, aunt, some relative or some neighbor or anybody, okay. So essentially, this is a great time for you uh, to focus on your uh, emotions and on people who are close to you and along with that home and vehicle the house and the vehicles okay that also could be there or you could uh, if you are a real estate agent you know you could start your real estate journey now you know it's a great time or you could buy up some uh, stocks you know which are not not stocks these reits you know which which is like a stock combination of many uh yeah real estate where you get the rent you know something like that you, you can google more about reits if you want more interest or so something like that you know if uh you might invest your money there okay all right essentially uh focus on your inner circle and not too much on the outside all right take care gemini so now we go to cancer karaka lagna trityam bhav third house okay this is a very interesting transit because rahu no, uh, I mean, this eclipse, especially, you know, in third house, uh, third house is generally a great house for eclipses to happen because they they kind of revive your courage, okay? <laughs> third house is courage. So, if you're feeling any time, you know, that, yeah, uh, life is a bit too uh, stressful and, you know, you are not able to give 100%, then maybe now is the time that you can actually and you will actually give 200%, okay. <clears throat> so this can also bring in uh, new dynamics between your uh, siblings and it can give you new short journeys or even long journeys or even inter-country travel, okay. But you will become more assertive in your communication. You will, you will confront somebody directly if required, okay. And this may bring in a change uh, in the relationship with your sibling, or with your siblings if if there is something problematic going on. So be a bit watchful on that side. Now, this is a great time to start some new project on, you know, writing, marketing, teaching, um, or maybe if not new, then start uh, and complete what is already there in your plate, okay? It's also a great time for, you know, interviews, you know, like starting a YouTube channel, starting podcasts, you know, like whatever, any way of communication, okay, it's a great period. So, Hasta Nakshatra, as you know, is very adaptable. So, Hasta Nakshatra's adaptability, uh, it will assist you into turning ideas into the right action with proper precision, okay. So, if you have any thought, just don't keep it. Bring it out and uh, spread it to the public, okay. Thank you. Cancer, take care. 
लियो लगना सेकेंड हाउस विक्ट्री सेकेंड हाउस इज विक्ट्री राइट सेकेंड हाउस एज यू नो इज द हाउस ऑफ फाइनेंस इट्स योर नेटवर्क क्यूमुलेटिव वेल्थ स्पीच एंड फैमिली वैल्यूज इट शोज योर मैरिड लाइफ इट शोज योर रिलेशनशिप विद योर पेरेंट्स योर चिल्ड्रेन योर रिलेटिव इन लॉज एवरीबॉडी एवरीबॉडी who is a part of your family is actually from the second house every other house is an extension of the second house like fifth house children seventh house marriage right so this means if there is an eclipse you no know, there could be a possibility that if you are single you get married or if you are married you have children or if you are married and you have children or either ways you know your parents come and stay with you so something new related to the family is happening so you might also Uh, reconsider uh, doing some shuffling between your network so for example you can uh, pu- you might put some money uh, you may sell some of your stocks and buy some property to that or the opposite you sell your property and you buy some stocks so whether that could also be there on cards so either ways some shuffling of uh, your money is seen okay or you might be interested in investing in new asset classes you know maybe like or some some other even if it's not new you know like gold for example or something fancy like crypto okay so therefore it's a time where you should focus on growing your net worth and also your family connections okay so take it easy don't rush uh, it's not one or the other because both the things are considerably contradictory at times like for example if you focus more time in your profession your family will suffer right and if you was more time in your family or profession suffers right so you know, take it slow because second house is earth house you might also get a new job or a promotion that could also happen right but nonetheless uh, it should be a good period for you the only thing you need to be sure from your side at least you should try that you do not create you do not create further problems in your family and try to solve some problem if you can if it is within your reach of course easier said than done but if you can try to solve it and sort it out and then go to our next project okay and take a take a vacation with your family members i think you will do fine okay all right leo victory all the best now virgo lagna this transit is in your first house in hasta nakshatra very 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 important so as you know the this eclipse is occurring in your first house of self first house is the self your head your brain your intelligence your appearance uh this will bring in significant opportunities for personal transformation very 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 significant so it will inspire you to work on yourself okay self mastery you know health appearance it will tell you to reinvent yourself so this this uh, eclipse for you will not be area specific this will be very generic okay this will be applicable for everything and every area okay so you know focus on your uh, yourself your new personal goals and overcome uh, self imposed limitations so if you if you have some blockage you know go and take therapy or consult an astrologer or go to a spiritual community do some meditation you know or take help of somebody okay if you have some mental blockages because that might be uh stopping you from actually yeah going forward in life okay so if you feel that you are not able to go at the top gear then you should seek help and once you do this your life will become fantastic okay so therefore don't waste time uh, don't think that you know you cannot do something everything is within your reach depending of on your karma of course but you should try your best to improve your overall life all the areas this is the ascendant no area all the areas all right take care bago wish you all the best now we go to libra ascendant libra ascendant this is in the 12th house dwadash okay so the 12th house as you know is the house of spirituality is the house of losses is the house of hidden matters you know it's the house of sexuality now uh, it's the house of uh, moksha so this eclipse could push you towards deeper self reflection and also you know or to pursue your spiritual life more seriously so for example it could happen 
if your dashas are not very good, you might suffer some losses. And then, you know, you are trying and thinking, what is this material world all about? You know, what is here at the end, right? So, you know, if you're feeling uh, in this way, then don't worry. Uh, it's not that uh, it's very bad for you, but it just means that you are a bit overwhelmed. So you may begin a journey of healing or, you know, trying to let go of your past baggage. So Hasta Nakshatra's energies will help you not to adapt and heal and it will urge you to trust the process of release and renewal. Okay, so again, 12th house is exit. It's the final exit. Okay, it's the house of... Yeah, it's the house where you leave every house. <laughs> so if there is something in your life, which is blocking you, which which is like, you know, it's like a scar inside your heart, then try to give it out, okay? Try to heal yourself and then you will see that things turn out magically for you. And on the positive side, you know, you might go to a foreign land because this eclipse is the 12th house of foreign lands or you may go to a foreign land for a temporary period of time and come back, you know, as a tourist or it could be long, depending on your chart, it could be because of a career, on-site opportunity or tourist or, you know, because of some spiritual spiritual pursuits, okay? So, either ways, there is travel which will be there, okay? So, be prepared for travel. All right, now we go to Scorpio. Scorpio, fantastic. 11th house, Ekadash, fulfillment of desires, or oh, really? <laughs> well, yes, uh, it could be depending on your chart. So, for example, the 11th house relates to social circles, aspirations, and gains, right? So, uh, this eclipse can bring friendships or opportunities to achieve long term goals, which are very important for your life, okay? Long term, not short term. Asta Nakshatra's practicality and uh, flexibility will aid you in like, you know, networking and manifesting your desires at a practical level. So, during this period, Scorpio, don't waste, don't waste any opportunity for networking. If you get a chance to go to some event by networking, I don't mean bar and uh, drug parties, okay? <laughs> so, if you get a chance to go to any networking event, then please do it. And 11th house, as you all know, also is, you know, satsang program, satsang community, so spiritual centers. So if you get a chance, please do that also. Okay. So try to manifest your dreams into reality. Make a plan. What is required for me to be successful? You may not be able to figure out 10 years, but at least you can figure out, you can at least have a plan for the next one year. At least, okay, or six months or three months, at least one month or at least a week. <laughs> so you might attract supportive people to, to your life, you know, who come and give you things, okay. So it's a brilliant period and it's a period where you should be able to capitalize on good opportunities that come for you. All right, so Scorpio, don't waste time. This is victory for you, 11, two ones. <laughs> but understand that uh, your success will depend on your efforts and not just you know, waiting for your good karma to come. So, give 100% or even more and you will see the results. All right, Scorpio, take care. Great period, all the best. Now, Sagittarius, Dasham Bhav, 1 and 0. 10th house, name, fame, power, position, authority. Fantastic. So, this eclipse is in your 10th house of career right and reputation and this may inspire a new phase in your professional life you may leave your home country and go to another place for a job or you might get a promotion or your dream job might be coming on the way okay but hasta nakshatra is extremely detail oriented so it will happen uh, if if you get a new opportunity you have to understand there will be a lot of details to that so therefore uh, you will have to make sure that you are you know where you are getting into. So, for example, suppose you get a new job in a different company and you resign from your job and you go there. So, if you are not careful, it might happen that after going there, you may have problems there. So, therefore, read the documents and read the roles, roles and uh, descriptions of your new job very properly before you join, okay? So this will help you in 
getting a new job or fostering your existing leadership skills, you know, taking bold decisions and also professional relationships. So if you are in a situation where you know that there is some senior position vacant in your company, don't worry, apply for it. Maybe it happens. Okay. So therefore, if you uh, get a chance to prove yourself in a big way, then don't waste the opportunity. Do it. It will be excellent for you because 10th house is the house of the king, right? So it's, it's a fantastic thing, basically. And at the end, you have to, <clears throat> you have to make decisions which make you stand out. So if you do what everybody else is doing, it's not the best use of this transit. Okay, so do things which will make you a unique entity, a unique person within your company and you'll be very successful. All the best, Sagittarius. Take care. Great period. Good luck. Now, we go to Capricorn. Capricorn Ascendant. This eclipse is in your ninth house, right? So ninth house, as you know, is, you know, higher learning, uh, travel, belief, religion, spirituality. This eclipse brings a chance to start a new educational uh, pursuit or a new spiritual journey. So, Hastanakshatra's energies will encourage you to take part in a practical and, you know, a disciplined manner towards learning. So, it could happen that, you know, you are already learning something and you want to fructify that learning. So, you will, you know, make notes and, you know, you will become like a student, very diligent, making notes for everything. So, you may also get in touch with a new uh, teacher or a new mentor, could happen. Okay. So, this is a phenomenal period. Maybe one of the best periods, eclipse in the ninth house. The only challenge you could face is, you know, your relationship with your father may be a, a bit rough and tough. And there could be some friction or some friction with your guru or with your guides also. So that's the negative part. So be respectful and be uh, courteous and kind and generous. And also, yeah, be yourself. Just to please others, don't just pretend to be somebody else and also if, if you don't like somebody don't just blast okay so you have to maintain that balance but at the end it's a fantastic period for self-development so the only thing that is important for you now is to grow grow yourself okay not externally could be or may not be but internally learn 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 and learn okay the more you learn the more you will earn okay <laughs> all right capricorn all the best take care and thumbs up for you now we go to Aquarius, Kumbhalagna. What is going on Aquarius? Interesting time. This eclipse is in the 8th house. Could be a challenging one. Or on the positive end, you could get lottery. <laughs> or, you know, your you could get a lot of gains from the stock market. Or crypto or real estate. Or, you know, you may get inheritance. Or some form of unearned money. No. So the 8th house, as you know... The ones, you know, transformation, shared resources, occult sciences, you may start to learn uh, astrology also. And I'm sure you are already learning because you are watching this video. <laughs> so this eclipse can spark a period of uh, deep psychological changes or deep uh, spiritual transformation. So Astana Kshatra is the nature of healing, as you know, right? So it's the best time to heal yourself. So therefore, if you have any issue which is which is lingering in your heart, it is time that you get rid of it. And this this eclipse you should spend in doing some tapasya. Like for example, you should try and figure out what what the hell are you doing in life. Okay. Not just one or two areas, every area. Eighth house is you know deep introspection. So so it's important that you try and, uh, yeah, you try to see where you are going wrong, where you can improve. So so do a critical assessment of yourself, but don't be too critical of yourself too. So try and see where you can improve and try to see how you can improve. Take guidance if required, because eighth house is the graveyard. It's where things end. It's darkness. So if you feel uh, it's too difficult, then maybe you should you know get some consultation with some coach you know in that specific area of life so if you're struggling in your career get a consultation from a career coach or if you're struggling with your health 
health, you know, get a get a gym trainer or you know somebody who can help you there. Okay, otherwise uh, you may feel lost. Okay, of course you don't have to, but if you can, that is good. All right. So do deep introspection, uh, get into research, learn about the scriptures, you know, occult sciences. Take care of your health and do a critical assessment of your life and don't be too critical of yourself. All right. Thank you, Aquarius. Now, last but not the least, as always, we go to Pisces, mean Rashi, right? Pisces, ascendant, what happens? So, if you are Pisces, then this eclipse is in your Saptam, 7th house, 7th house of marriage. Congratulations. <laughs> but if you are already married, then what? Oops, don't worry. The marriage will not break. But... This will show new beginnings in your relationships. So it's like the same relationship but a new flavor. So Hastal Akshatra as you know is very adaptable. So this eclipse will force you to become more adaptable. Either by choice, choice or by force. So therefore partnerships, marriage uh, will require an adaptable energy. And 7th house is also showing how good you can adapt. Okay. So you need to create balance and mutual understanding that is where, that is imperative, that is non-negotiable. You cannot always get things your way. That's not possible. It will not work this time. So you may enter into a new partnership or work on improving or existing one. So focus on nurturing relationships with commitment and care. Okay, very, very, very important because otherwise what will happen is you may feel that you are losing out in life. So, you need relationships. You cannot do everything yourself. It's not possible. At the end, you will need a team. If you don't have a team, you will struggle. Now, of course, if you if you are just an employee, you don't have to become a manager and lead, you know, like 10 people or 100 people. But in general, in life, you will need people, okay? It's a team effort, you know, like marriage or, you know, having children or parents. It's, it's always a team effort, you know, it will... It will not be that you are doing everything yourself. And if you try, you will have burnout. So therefore, try and see how you can include more people. And as always, if you are a single, you might get a chance to get married. Or if you are marriage is finalized, then your wedding might take place. So if you fall in that category, congratulations and my best wishes for you. All right. And for everybody else, learn to get more people along with you. All right. Thank you, everybody. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and like this video if you enjoyed this content. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down below. Thank you. Jai Siaram and take care.